and a very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. Uh, so as you know, uh, every day from Monday to Thursday at 11 a.m. in the morning, we come up with the Hindu analysis. Today is 7th February and we'll be discussing important articles of uh, 7th February. Today's articles are very important. Hai. Today's articles are very, very important. So today is Tuesday, 7th February. And today's articles are very important ones. Hai which actually we will be uh, discussing. So on the first page, the first article says UP government scraps tender with lowest bid by Adani firm. So we'll be discussing about this also. Uh, then second is Supreme Court to hear plea to annul lawyer's elevation as a judge uh, in Madras High Court. So this is also very, very important. We will be discussing about it. Then uh, there is an article over 2600 killed as Turkey, Syria reels under earthquake. So we will be discussing about this as well. So let's uh, start with... Uh, this question, this is the most important article. Uh, Supreme Court to hear a plea to annul lawyer's elevation as a judge. Annul matlab to declare void, to declare void. Anna? Matlab nullify karna, to nullify. See what has happened is the Supreme Court Collegium, the Supreme Court Collegium recommended the appointment of a lawyer. Her name is Victoria Gaudi as the judge of Madras High Court. And today, actually at 10.30 um, uh, a.m. in the morning, the uh, actually the oath taking ceremony is supposed to be held. Uh, but now, uh, so some lawyers actually went to the Supreme Court, went to the uh, CJI's uh, court and they said ki, uh, uh, there are some allegations against her and because of which she should not be appointed as a Madras High Court judge. So what is that? So uh, you can see it here, Chief Justice of India on Monday, that is yesterday said in open court that Supreme Court was not in the known about certain developments uh, concerning Victoria Gaudi and all. So uh, there is an allegation against her that she actually gave some speeches which were against minority community, especially the Christian and Muslim, especially the Christian community and all. And that is why many lawyers went to the Supreme Court saying that uh, she should not be appointed as a high court judge and all. Uh, so they said, the lawyer said uh, there is actually an uh, allegation of hate speech etc. So today uh, Justice Sanjeev Khanna uh, will be hearing this uh, petition and also you can see it here. So what will happen? Uh, keep on following that. Isko follow karte rahi aap. Hai. Yes. Okay. So now, uh, now there is a question. Keep, please keep on following it. What will be the news? But there is a question for you. The question is, please tell me how many members are there in Supreme Court Collegium for appointment of a High Court Judge? Your options are 3, 5, 6, 7 and 6. So your time starts now. Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is what is the right answer? 3 Judges Collegium is there. For an appointment of a High Court Judge, there is only three member collegium there. And for appointment of Supreme Court Judge, there are five member collegium. So these are actually the three member collegium, the CGI, Justice D.Y. Chandrachud, then uh, Justice K.M. Joseph and Justice Sanjay Kishan Call. So these are the three judges which are actually the part of uh, collegium to approve the recommendation of a High Court Judge or to send the recommendation for appointment of a High Court Judge. So A is the right answer to this question. Think, yes, Amulya Raj is right. A is the right answer. Yes, very good. So that is what it is. Please go and read it. Squad uh, Jake. The concept of collegium, it has been very much in the news in the last two, three months. A lot of criticism, a lot of uh, things associated with collegium is in the news. So that is why you must be aware of it. Squad Janiga. Then UP government scraps tender with lowest bid by Adani firm. So uh, that is what it says in a joint to the Adani group, the BJP government in UP has scrapped the contract worth Rs. 5,400 crore. UP power utility scraps tender in which Adani group company was lowest bidder to supply its meters. Uh, because a lot of things associated with Adani is in the news, so that is why perhaps the UP government has uh, uh, scrapped the tender. Scrap means cancel the tender. Cancel the tender. Tender, you understand the word tender? Like tender is given to the private company to uh, do anything, I mean, uh, for anything. So the government gives tender right, for different works and all. So Adani was the low, Adani company was the lowest bidder, right, no? but still the government, I mean, uh, the government, the UP government decided to cancel it. So you can read it, it's not in detail, nahi jana, but have a basic idea about it. Okay, uh, then uh, the next one is 
Recently, three back-to-back -back earthquakes has occurred in where? Your options are Southern Turkey, Northern Turkey, North Syria, uh, both one and three. Your time starts now. What is the right answer? Actually, yesterday earthquake was very powerful. A very powerful earthquake yesterday happened. I hope you are aware of that. Yes, everyone keep on pressing the like button and share this video with your friends. So the right answer is D. Both 1 and 3 is right. Southern Turkey and Northern Syria. So that is the location. Okay. Hey, Rashmi Kant, uh, since you are telling it, let me tell you. So this is, I'm asking about an appointment of a high court judge. So for, for that, there is one CGI and two Supreme Court judges. For appointment of a Supreme Court judge, we are having 4 plus 1. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, so let me show, uh, show over 2600 killed as Turkey, Syria reel under earthquakes. So that is why it was in the news. Uh, let me show you in the map. So this is India. And you can see this is Turkey and this is Syria. So somewhere here actually, uh, let me mark it with red pen. This is the place where actually the earthquake happened. Uh, yes, you can see it here, uh, the zoomed version. This is the place somewhere here actually where actually... Uh, the earthquake has happened. The southern portion of Turkey, it, it affected the northern portion of Syria as well. So, par, uh, earthquake aaya. the capital of Turkey is Ankara, which is here actually. So, and a very famous city called as Istanbul is there. This is also a city in uh, Turkey. But here, this is the place where actually the earthquake happened. So, please be aware of it, this region. Or ye actually can back to back bahut sare earthquake hai. Teen, char. So uh, yes, here four is the right answer. Haan, Savita, Vama, Mishi, you all were right. Uh, Rashmi Khan, Shahnur, Alam, you all are right. Haan. Yes, very good Rashmi Khan. Turkey's capital is Ankara. Syria's capital is Damascus. Very good. Haan. So yesterday three earthquakes came. Or aaj subah mein news aari thi ke another fourth earthquake came. So uh, that is why you must be knowing it because char lagatar earthquake aa gaya hai. The numbers are 4,000. Maybe it will increase to 5,000 or 10,000 maybe etc. and all. So uh, now there's a question. The magnitude of earthquake is measured in which of the following scale? So the first is decibel scale, Richter scale, Mercalli scale and none of the above. Your time starts now. Earthquake ko jo magnitude hai wo kis mein measure kiya jata hai? Aapko batana hai. Yes, your time is up. The right answer is Richter scale. Aapne suna ho ye naam. You must have heard this. Like, uh, just say, I have three powerful earthquakes in 24 hours. So, 7.8 aya pehla wala. I think the second one was 7.5 and something like that. 7 point something karke. So, these are actually the Richter scale measurement. Haan. So, B is the right answer. Yes. Uh, Anas Ali Shahnur Alam. Uh, you all are right. Savita Vama Mishi. Rashmi Kanta Amulya Raj. Yes, aaj subah mein jo hai, wo 5.6 magnitude hai. These are considered as very powerful. Agar 5 plus hai, these are very powerful. 7.8 is very powerful. Now, the next thing is it depends upon whether it is coming in the area where people are living or in a desert area. Let's say, in desert area, if the earthquake as powerful as 9 will come, it will not kill many people because there are no buildings. So, people will not die. But even if there is a populated area, and in populated area, even if the five Richter scale earthquake comes, it will be damaging because the buildings will fall. So the moment buildings will fall, it will kill people. Okay. So it depends not only on the Richter scale, but depends on the actually the population living there. Okay. So that is why the magnitude is measured. So that is why magnitude is measured on the Richter scale. And there is something called as Mercalli steel. This is the intensity pata chalta hai. Okay, but this is more important. So Richter scale, you must be aware of it. Whenever we use the word 7.5, 7.8, 9, 8.9, these are the words used for Richter scale. So just have an idea, but I'm giving you a homework. Please go and read about Mercalli intensity scale as well. Although this is less famous, less in news, but uh, just have an idea. This one is more important. Okay, so here the right answer is actually Richter scale. B is the right answer to this question. Okay, uh, the next one is since we are talking about earthquake, tsunami and all. So, there is a question, a very famous tsunami occurred in Indian Ocean which affected India as well. So, your options are 2004, 2006, 2008 and 2010. Your time starts now. And after that in India, Disaster Management Act was uh, made. Disaster Management Act was made after that. Yes, the right answer is 2004. And that is why I hope you are aware there is a Disaster Management Act 2005 for that. Okay. Yes. 
2005 डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट एक्ट 2005 बनाया गया था 2004 में जब दिसंबर में आपको आया था व्हेन इन दिसंबर 2004 द सुनामी हैपेंड आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ सुनामी एक्चुअली दिस इज यू कैन सी दिस इज इंडियन पेनिनसुला एंड समवेयर हियर एक्चुअली द सुनामी सुनामी इज मेनी इन मेनी केसेस इंड्यूस्ड ड्यू टू अर्थक्वेक सो व्हेन द अर्थक्वेक हैपेंस द वाटर मूव्स एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हिच द सुनामी कम्स एंड इट अफेक्टेड दीस रीजंस ऑफ इंडिया ओके सो द साउथ ईस्टर्न पोर्शन द अंडमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स एंड श्रीलंका ऑन ऑल गॉट अफेक्टेड यस यस रश्मि कांत राइट हां अमूल्य प्रिया जवन मिसी यू ऑल राइट इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है अमूल्य राज यस सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया बिकॉज़ यस ऑफ कोर्स दे कैन आस्क दीस क्वेश्चंस व्हेन एवर थिंग्स आर इन न्यूज़ दे गो इन हिस्ट्री पास्ट एंड आस्क द क्वेश्चंस सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट ओके बिफोर मूविंग ऑन देयर इज अ स्मॉल अनाउंसमेंट वी आर हैविंग अ क्लैट 2024 कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव कोर्स द एग्जाम इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन दिसंबर 2023 where 300 plus recorded videos 300 plus hours of live session 35 plus mock test would be provided if you have query call on this number 9538895678 pe call kar sakte ho and uh, yes uh, this is a free workshop time management tips for clat and boards uh, on 12 february at 7 pm we'll be having abhimanyu sir's class so re register it the link is given in the description from where you can register for this class okay uh, so many people have birthday of 2004 very good now nice so you can remember it very easily okay <coughs> so i still remember i was in school day so i still remember that incident and all so yes these are the four articles we'll be discussing it yes this is the important one freedom of speech in an adolescent india now freedom of speech and expression you know adolescent india matlab kya hota jo young means the growing child so people who are in teenage let's say uh, the adolescent generally are for, from 13 14 15 years till 18, 19 इयर्स आर जनरली कंसीडर्ड एज एडोलेसेंट है ना जो टीन एज का बच्चा होता है उसको हम लोग एडोलेसेंट वर्ड यूज करते हैं जनरली है ना सो दैट इज व्हाट दिस आर्टिकल इज कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच सो देयर इज अ सीनियर एडवोकेट एट मद्रास हाई कोर्ट एंड ही इज अ सेकंड ईयर लॉ स्टूडेंट सो ही विल बी हार्डली ऑफ योर एज और मे बी वन और टू इयर्स एल्डर टू यू सो दिस आर्टिकल इज रिटन सो बेसिकली दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन यू कैन रीड इट so the freedom of speech is one of the most cherished freedom constitution to declare as indian possesses this freedom but makes it subject to the interest of public order sovereignty integrity and all yes uh, so if you read the constitution the constitution as well talks about freedom of speech and expression hai na but there are reasonable restrictions and those who are my paid batch student they must be aware of this because i have taught in paid classes what are those eight reasonable restrictions means you have freedom of speech but it it has some limitation freedom of speech does not mean you can start abusing someone put wrong allegation or like that no there is a freedom of speech but there is a boundary of that so that is what the author is talking about theek hai aap samajh gaye to reasonable restriction hai yani aapke bolne ka adhikar hai lekin usme kuch reasonable restriction like interest uh, in the interest of public order sovereignty integrity of india we believe that the framers of the constitution accepted this watering down etc and all the concept of freedom of speech is a western notion and yani we have taken this from west west means uh, like uh, like usa europe these are actually considered as west when we use the word west it is actually referring to us canada european countries these are called as west nations while some form of freedom may have existed in ancient greece the real freedom of speech stand today is proposed by propounded by voltaire and rousseau so voltaire and rousseau these are famous why Uh, for uh, for French Revolution and all, I hope you are aware if you have read French Revolution in uh, the history, 1789 French Revolution which happened. So it's very famous. Uh, the idea of liberty, equality, and fraternity came from there. ठीक है? Yes, Nilam Pandey, that would be helpful, of course, for all the exams which requires current affairs, huh? ओके okay, अब आप देखो ये फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच की बात करें सो देयर अ वेरी फेमस टर्म एक्चुअली अ स्टेटमेंट गिवन बाय वॉल्टायर आई डिसअप्रूव ऑफ व्हाट यू से बट विल डिफेंड टू दैट योर राइट टू से सो दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस कोट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दिस आई डिसअप्रूव यानी आई डिसएग्री विद यू मैं आपकी बात से डिसएग्री भी करूंगा मान लीजिए हम आपसे कुछ बात से डिसएग्री करते हैं ऑफ व्हाट यू से बट विल डिफेंड टू दैट योर राइट टू से सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन ठीक है this was given by rousseau a very famous uh, you can say uh, a writer or uh, a very famous person uh, from the uh, uh, france actually during the french revolution and also the idea of that is what the author is talking the idea of freedom of speech in modern day 
कम्स फ्रॉम वॉल्टायर एंड रूसो सो ये दो बहुत बड़े फिलोसफर थे इन्हीं के स्टेटमेंट से आता है जैसे ये अगर हम आपकी बात से डिसअग्री भी करते हैं तो भी हम आपकी फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच आपके बोलने के अधिकार को डिफेंड करेंगे अगर हम आपसे डिसअग्री भी करते हैं किसी मामले में सो दैट इज वॉट इट से इवन इफ आई डिसअग्री विथ यू इन एनी मैटर स्टिल आई बिलीव दैट योर राइट टू फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच इज प्रोटेक्टेड यू हैव अ राइट टू से वॉट यू बिलीव इन इवन इफ आई डो नॉट एक्चुअली अग्री विद दैट ये दैट इज वॉट इट से Now, uh, since we are talking about freedom of speech and expression, of course, the first thing that comes to our mind is which article of Indian Constitution talks about freedom of speech and expression? Article fourteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty. Your time starts now. Maybe Anna Bakri is Savita. You will get to know. We will inform you. Huh? So the right answer is Article nineteen. Freedom of speech talks about actually Article nineteen. If you have read it, Anna, uh, I have taught in paid classes. so those who are my paid batch student they must be aware of this i have taught in detail the reasonable restrictions what are those reasonable restrictions we have discussed it yes ha huh. yes janur uh, anasali priya amulya you all are right ha huh. b is the right answer to this question theek hai so padhiye ka article 19 is very important hai na as uh, the guya likha freedom of speech etc and all uh, to he is actually quoting bhim rao ambedkar also the father of indian constitution or architect of indian constitution which says ki uh, uh, as a free of speech it exists but it exists only for those who are in favor of social order the freedom is not freedom of liberalization which was expressed by voltaire and all so many times freedom of speech exists only for those who favor the social order means whatever the ideas are prevalent so no one can give the opposite opinion many times it happens if somebody is giving the opinion which is not accepted by the general public uh, he or she has to face a lot of actually uh, suppression and all तो कोई आदमी कभी कभी कोई ऐसी बात बोलता है जो जनरली बिलीव की अगेंस्ट होता है तो लोग उसको मानते नहीं उसको क्रश कर देते हैं मतलब उनकी बात को सो दैट इज वॉट इज से ओनली फॉर दोज विच आर एक्चुअली इन फेवर ऑफ सोशल ऑर्डर द फ्रीडम इज नॉट फ्रीडम लिबरलिज्म विच वॉज एक्सप्रेस बाई वॉल्टायर वेन आई सेट देखो ये वाला स्टेटमेंट है ना दिस इज द वॉल्टायर स्टेटमेंट इन फैक्ट इन द सेम आर्टिकल दिस स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वॉल्टायर इज मैं ये वाला जो मैंने अभी बताया दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस कोर्ट आप कहीं एग्जाम में वेन एवर यू आर लेट से गिविंग एन ये स्पीच तो आप ये कोट यूज कर सकते हैं इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल कोट ठीक है सो यू कैन यूज इट हाँ हाँ सो देन द ऑथर इज गिवन लॉट ऑफ एग्जाम्पल बेटर कोर्ट देन अदर पीपल्स कोर्ट जस्टिस होम्स कोर्ट और भी कई सारा कोर्ट दिया इसमें आप चाहो तो पढ़ सकते हो इतना डिटेल नहीं जाना बट है बेसिक आइडिया सो ब्रिटिश राज ऑब्वियसली डिड नॉट टॉलरेट प्री स्पीच एट सेक्टर फोर्टी सेवन सो टिल नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन British government did not tolerate free speech. So whenever uh, an Indians used to write something critical of British, they used to suppress it. So there were a lot of laws made. Like you must have heard about Vernacular Press Act. Have you heard about this? 1797, very famous. Then, I think 1878. Please check it. If I'm uh -huh. 1878, yes. Vernacular Press Act was there. Then similarly, there were different press laws that were passed during British time to suppress freedom of speech. So the first fifty years of freedom was spent in framing the contours and all. So that is what is talking about. So after independence, when constitution was made, the Indians were granted the idea of freedom of speech and all. That is what is being discussed. The muzzling of unpopular opinion. Muzzling means what? What is it? Not allowed to speak. Suppressing the opinion. Suppressing someone's freedom of speech. So that is what. Uh, The unpopular opinions, यानी कोई opinion जो आम आदमी को acceptable नहीं है अगर उस पर कोई आदमी बोलता है ना कोई और या opposite ओ व्यू देता है तो उसको लोग दबाने की कोशिश करते हैं दैट इज वॉट द ऑथर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट की मजलिंग ऑफ अनपॉपुलर ओपिनियन इज नॉट डन थ्रू मॉ पावर एक्शन फॉर डिफेमेशन सोशल मीडिया ब्लैकआउट एक्सेट्रा अगर कोई अनपॉपुलर ओपिनियन या ऐसा ओपिनियन देता है जो समाज में एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है तो लोग उसको मतलब बाइकआउट करते हैं दैट इज वॉट द ऑथर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज See, I have to be. Let me clarify it. Whatever I explain, these are the opinions of author. Okay, so call for by, uh, bans, boycott, offence, etc. are uh, there. So that is what the author is talking about. Thus, we see for the first time freedom of speech under threat, not only vertically but horizontally. So freedom of speech threat may that is what actually the author says according to the author. Now Indians seek to shut the opinions and expression when they feel threatened by it. So this sense of insecurity along with aggression is the hallmark of adolescence rather than the common sector not. तो वो ये बताना चाह रहे हैं कि व्हेन आई व्हेन समवन डू नॉट लाइक समवन्स ओपिनियन दे ट्राई टू सप्रेस इट सो दैट इज व्हाट द आउथर इज मेंशनिंग द मॉब प्रोवाइड्स द कंफर्ट एंड एनोनिमिटी टू सप्रेस द ओपिनियन ये इंपॉर्टेंट है तो इफ समवन लेट्स से समवन इज गिविंग अ स्पीच 
and this is he is not giving a wrong or a hate speech or not like that he is giving a normal speech he is giving his own opinion but if let's say x person comes and suppresses his speech and tells him or her not to speak so people will identify that this x person is suppressing the freedom of speech but if the entire mob will come and suppress someone's freedom of speech this comes with anonymity you cannot recognize the mob aap pehchan nahi sakte ho ki kaun log the itni zyada bheed mein basically anonymity bahut powerful hota hai yani pehchanna nahi ki kaun aadmi hai so that is what it says anonymity means you will not be able to recognize the person why with the name or something like that because the mob is there so mob is uncontrollable there is no one person there and so that is what the author is talking about ki agar aap koi opinion se disagree kar rahe hain to bahut bar mob jo hai uh maybe the mob will come or something like that they have written it the author have written it now the supreme court in kaushal kishore case declared that the fundamental rights of indians are applicable only not only vertically but horizontally to ko yahi yahan pe hi baat hui hai horizontal or vertical iska kya matlab hota hai you have to understand like this so if you are a citizen there is a citizen called as a citizen nahi likhte uh, a there is a guy called as a so his freedom of speech so he has a right to freedom of speech and the state cannot interfere i mean state cannot stop his freedom of speech so this is called as vertical hai na likha na ek dekho so likha na so his fundamental rights can be employed vertically hai na only vertically nahi balki both horizontally second thing is his fellow citizen cannot stop him from giving the speech so that is called as horizontal or given his own opinion so both a person a is protected he has a right to give his own opinion and the state means the government state matlab hai government both the government as well as the fellow citizen cannot stop him ha yes agreed but in article 19 there are reasonable restrictions reasonable restrictions means a should not be speaking whatever he or she wants so those who are my paid by student i have explained in detail what are those eight reasonable restrictions like you cannot Uh, uh give hate speech you cannot incite violence you cannot uh, you can say defame someone or uh, against a speech give speech against sovereignty etc and all so a jo hai uska freedom of speech hai na hi usko government rok sakti hai na hi uska koi fellow citizen rok sakta hai ye vertical hua ya horizontal hua theek hai aur lekin usko kuch reasonable restrictions hai yani jab wo bole to sambhal ke bole uski kuch boundaries hai a ke bhi a bhi us limit ko cross nahi kar sakta that is how it is theek hai Is it clear? Anonymous का मतलब होता है यू कैन नॉट अनिकोगनाइज अनिकोगनाइज या अननेम्ड पर्सन है ना बिकॉज इफ अ मॉब इज कमिंग एंड स्टॉपिंग सम वन फ्रॉम गिविंग स्पीच और लेट से फ्रॉम हैविंग अ फिल्म और एटसेट्रा एंड ऑल यू कैनॉट रिकोगनाइज द पर्सन तो भीड़ आ रही है ना एनोनिमिटी द बेनिफिट ऑफ मॉब इज दे आर हैविंग एनोनिमिटी दैट इज हाउ इट्स दिस सो दैट मीन होज द की हाउ इंडिया कैन इमर्ज फ्रॉम इट्स एडोलेसेंस एटसेट्रा एंड ऑल Uh, if every citizen forces their fundamental uh, fundamental freedom not only against the state but against each other hai na so that is what it is so we have discussed it so basically the author are actually uh, uh, giving the idea or uh, supporting the freedom of speech and expression is tarah samajh sakte ho ki wo log apna speech and expression ki support ki baat kar rahe hain that is how it is theek hai so i have clarified it again that whatever it is written in the article is not my opinion i have just explained their opinions you agree with them disagree with them that is your opinion theek hai now let's talk about this puncturing ties uh, in yesterday's class we had discussed so yesterday 6 february class we had discussed about us shoot downs balloon uh, vision wants of response ye maine kal discuss kiya tha so this editorial this editorial is for that the shooting down of a chinese surveillance balloon by the us military has served as a stark reminder of deep distrust and all so i hope you are aware ki montana is a place near south carolina where actually the balloon was going and the us shot it down so in that uh, anthony blinken actually decided to call up uh, this uh, he was supposed to go to actually to china uh, but because of this incidents of chinese spy balloon at sector and all uh, so the anthony blinken has decided not to go theek hai on 6 february he was supposed to go kal jane wale the so uh, this is the question anthony blinken is us vice president uh, secretary of state defense secretary commerce secretary your time starts now पार्लियामेंट में भी रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफकोर्स नीलम पांडे हाँ फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच कहीं भी एब्सोलूट नहीं होता है कोई भी राइट जो होता है आपको एब्सोलूट नहीं होता है मतलब फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच कहीं मतलब नहीं कि आप जो चाहो बोल दो नहीं आपके लिमिटेशन है ऑफकोर्स सो येस एंथनी ब्लिंकन इज द यूएस सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन 
uh, U.S. Secretary of State is like Foreign Minister. So they do not use the word Foreign Minister, but it is a uh, Foreign Minister of USA. Uh, they uh, actually from India's context, you can understand like this. They do not use the word Foreign Minister. They use the word Secretary of State. Huh. So B is the right answer. Yes, Rashmi Kant, Anas, Amolia Raj, you all are right. Yes, B is the right answer to this question. Uh, the fragility of the efforts has been laid bare by the controversy over the balloon which has punctured the process of restoring stability at sector and all. So, isi ki baat kar rahe. So, isko bo zari detail mein jane uh, US uh, officials have acknowledged that this by no means the first such incident. So, US officials have recognized that it was not first, first such incident. Ye pahla sa incident nahi, balke pahle bhi ho chuka in India, Andaman Island, in Japan, etc. Such balloons were found and all. So, ye pahle bhi is tarah ki baar daate ho chuki. Okay? Yes, Rashmi Kant, right. Huh. Now then, then here is an article, uh, end of life decision. This is important. Hai, uh, this is actually talking about euthanasia. Advanced medical directive euthanasia. Kya hota hai? So uh, can anyone write in the live chat, what do you mean by euthanasia? Dekho, euthanasia ka matlab hota hai. For example, if somebody is in extreme pain, so in that case, what will happen? So he or she will want ki, uh, or he or she, his or her relative will, will want ki, it is better that he should die rather having so much of pain. Agar koi banda bimar hai, hospitalized hai, usko itni zada taklif ho rahi hai, bahut zada, hat zada, excruciable pain, we use this word, excruciable, hai na? extreme pain. To kya phir rishadar chaate hai ki, achha chalo, dunia se chala jata better hai, rather itna taklif uthai. So the, even relatives sometimes want ki, okay, if he or she is so much in pain, he is affected with such a disease that it is causing a lot of pain. So it is better that he or she should go to the, uh, to leave the world. Haan, right to die, uh, right to actually uh, die to uh, right to die is not a fundamental right. But you can say, uh, there are two things. One is called as acne euthanasia, where a person actually the person who is suffering from the disease is given some injection, some lethal or poisonous injection where uh, um, with the help of which he or she can die. कुछ इंजेक्शन दे दिया जिससे वो आराम से उसकी डेथ हो जाए दूसरा होता है पैसिव यूथनेशिया है ना सो एक्टिव यूथनेशिया इज नॉट अलाउड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट ठीक है पैसिव यूथनेशिया मींस कि ऑल द लाइफ सपोर्ट विल बी विड्रॉन एंड लाइफ सपोर्ट समझते हो ना लाइफ सपोर्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल कि जो वेंटिलेटर है या कोई भी इंजेक्शन वगैरह दिया जा रहा है दवा वगैरह नहीं दी जाएगी सो ओवर द टाइम द पर्सन विल डाई सो यस हां यस वेरी गुड हां मर्सी किलिंग भी कहते हैं वेरी गुड हां शाहनूर रश्मि कांत यस उसी को एडवांस्ड मेडिकल डायरेक्टिव बताते क्या होता है अब देखो होता क्या है देयर इज अ कांसेप्ट कॉल्ड एज लिविंग विल दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज यू कैन से एडवांस्ड मेडिकल डायरेक्टिव इट मींस लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल द पर्सन इज हेल्दी बट ही और शी सेज कि राइट इन राइटिंग कि अगर इफ लेट्स से आई लेट्स से द पर्सन बिकम्स वेरी ओल्ड लेट्स से ही इज 75 80 इयर्स ओल्ड ठीक है and he gives a will, living will कि अगर हम बूढ़े हो जाएंगे इफ आई विल बिकम इफ आई एम अफेक्टेड विद एनी डिजीज लेट्स से कोमा so I'm writing it beforehand uh, when I'm healthy that if something happens and if I, it is causing a lot of pain, a lot of expenditure is happening, then please uh, kill me, it is better. So pahle hi se, aad bhi likh deta hai ki uh, agar meri bimari itni zada ho gai, God forbid, ki hum bahut zada bimar ho gai aur bahut humko taklif ho rahi hai aur bahut paisa bhi kharcha ho raha hai, to humko madlab dunia se jane dena, that is called as living will. So the person gives his consent beforehand. इसलिए हो सकता है ना जब बंदा कोमा में चला जाए तो वो मरीज थोड़ी कंसेंट दे पाएगा इसलिए कि वो इस हाल में है ही नहीं कि वो आ, अपना ओपिनियन दे सके ओके सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज लिविंग विल एंड ऑल यस वेरी गुड अनास अली वेरी गुड कॉमन कॉज केस एट सेक्टर है ना एक और केस इससे रिलेटेड अरुणा शान बॉक केस इसको भी पढ़ लीजिएगा दीस आर इंपॉर्टेंट केसेस वेरी गुड सो ये सब केस आप पढ़ लीजिएगा 2018 का है ये उससे पहले का आई थिंक सो दीस ऑल आर रिलेटेड विद यूथनेशिया एंड ऑल हां so, हाँ, इसी को इसमें कुछ rules changes किया गया है. Some rules have been tweaked. Okay? So, I'm not going in detail कि क्या-क्या rules changes किया गया है. If you are interested, go and read it. Uh, because when 2018 judgment was passed, uh, there are some actually issues with this. कुछ issues हैं जिसके कारण ये properly implement नहीं हो पा रहा. And uh, slight changes have been done. So, go and read about those changes. I'm not explaining it here because I think legal faculties will be taughting it. Will be teaching it in the paid classes. ठीक है. इसको बताएंगे कि क्या-क्या detail में changes हैं. But लेकिन हमने एक बेसिक आइडिया दे दिया यूथनेशिया का और एडवांस मेडिकल डायरेक्टिव या लिविंग विल क्या होता है ठीक है सो गो एंड रीड अबाउट इट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ लिविंग विल एडवांस मेडिकल डायरेक्टिव्स 
ओके द डिमांड फॉर मनरेगा वर्क इज अनमेट सो बेसिकली दे हैव डन सम रिसर्च तो बेसिक चीज पता होना चाहिए कि हंड्रेड डेज इट प्रोवाइड हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन रूरल एरियाज है ना दैट इज वॉट इन रूरल एरियाज मनरेगा इज देर ओके यस ठीक है अब देखो सो बेसिकली इट इज देर इज अ क्रिटिसिजम दैट मनरेगा बजट एलोकेशन द बजट एलोकेशन इन मनरेगा हैज बीन डिक्रीज तो साठ हजार करोड़ बस दिया गया है मनरेगा में एंड देर इज अवी क्रिटिसिजम दैट दिस इज वेरी लेस इट शुड हैव बीन इंक्रीज मोर मनरेगा में और बिकॉज इट एक्चुअली क्रिएट्स जॉब इन रूरल एरियाज so there's uh, when the budget came uh, the one crit strong criticism was that the fund allocation in manrega was very less to ek jo strong criticism ye tha ki fund allocation bahut kam hai and all so they have given uh, actually a lot of example ki manrega mein jo hota hai that is what the manrega is if you ask for a job then within 15 days you should be provided a job in rural areas we are talking about unskilled jobs okay manual employment manual work ki baat ho rahi hai ओके बट दे आर सेइंग कि दे हैव डन सम रिसर्च एंड ऑल एंड दे हैव रियलाइज कि नॉट नॉट इवन इंस्टेड ऑफ 100 डेज नॉट इवन 45 डेज एक्चुअली आर बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड एंड ऑल 45 डेज ऑफ वर्क इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड यस रश्मिकांत वेरी गुड हां यस गुड नहीं नीलम पांडे इट इज नॉट फॉर अर्बन एरियाज महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी स्कीम सो दिस इज फॉर रूरल एरिया ओनली देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन दैट इट शुड एक्सटेंड टू अर्बन एरियाज and understand this is for unskilled manual work this is not for a skilled labor ye unskilled workers ke liye theek hai manual labor samajhte ho na ha uske liye ha ah. yes it was passed in 2005 yes rashmikanth right uh, there is an article pakistan economy crumbles forex falls inflation source dekho ye utna zyada bhi important nahi hai because this is not related with our country but chalo ek basic idea hona chahiye what is forex uh, there was a question on clat 2020 talking about forex so forex stands for foreign exchange reserve Go and read it. What is it? ये क्या होता है? Foreign exchange reserve. तो inflation source source मतलब increase बहुत तेजी से ऊपर भाग रहा है. So you can see some of the examples. ठीक है? Like देखो foreign exchange reserve of Pakistan is going down. तो ये नीचे जा रहा है. देखो wheat का दाम बढ़ गया. So the prices of actually wheat has gone up. गेहूँ का दाम बहुत तेजी से बढ़ गया. देखो food in ये देखो rural food CPI. कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स इन्फ्लेशन इज गोइंग हाई महंगाई बहुत तेजी से बढ़ रही है पाकिस्तान में और फॉरेक्स घट गया एंड ऑल तो एक बेसिक आइडिया होना चाहिए इसमें इतना डिटेल नहीं जाना है बिकॉज आई डोंट थिंक दे विल बी आस्किंग अबाउट पाकिस्तान इकोनॉमी बट चलो न्यूज में था तो मैंने डिस्कस कर दिया ओके विथ स्वेरिंग इन ऑफ फाइव न्यूज जजेस सुप्रीम कोर्ट नॉट शॉर्ट ऑफ शॉर्ट जस्ट टू शॉर्ट ऑफ फुल स्ट्रेंथ सो हु मेक द फॉलोइंग एडमिनिस्टर्स द ओथ ऑफ जज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये फाइव जजेस टुक द ओथ योर ऑप्शन आर Vice President, President, Chief Justice of India, Supreme Court Registrar. Your time starts now. Yes. What is the right answer? Administers the oath. So who administers the oath of a judge or Supreme Court? So the Chief Justice of India. So C is the right answer to this question. Now you can see. Just for example, yesterday, uh, this is a screenshot from there. So this is Chief Justice of India, uh, Justice D.Y. Chandrachud, and uh, There is a judge of Supreme Court taking the oath. So administers the oath का मतलब ये होता है कि ये पहले पढ़ते हैं. So he first reads it, he first reads the oath, and then he follows it. पढ़ते हैं ना कि I uh, uh, then the name of the judge, then say administers the oath or takes the oath. है ना इस तरफ पढ़ते हैं ना कि मैं कसम खाता हूँ ये. So first he reads it and then he will follow it. So this is called administering the oath. हाँ ये C is the right answer. Amolia Raj, Savita Mama, you all are right. Anas Ali, है ना? Yes, sir. Five judges, Justice Pankaj Mittal, Sanjay Karol. पीवी संजय कुमार हसनुद्दीन अमानुल्ला मनोज मिश्रा सो दीज आर द न्यू जजेस नेवल एलसीए लैंड्स ऑन विक्रांत फर्स्ट एरोप्लेन टू टच डाउन तो इसको पढ़ना आईएनएस विक्रांत के बारे में इट हैज बीन वेरी मच इन द न्यूज फर्स्ट इंडिजिनस लाइट कॉम्बैट एयरक्राफ्ट लैंडेड ऑन फर्स्ट इंडिजिनस एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लास्ट ईयर इन अक्टूबर आई थिंक इट वाज वेरी मच इन द न्यूज इससे सवाल आ सकता है एमएचसीटी में या स्लैट में The first indigenous aircraft carrier is which ship? So the answer is INS Vikrant. Very, very, very important. Let's put a star mark. Uh, first indigenous aircraft carrier. 
so a ship which carries aircraft so that is called as aircraft carrier so what is the meaning of indigenous indigenous means you can say make in india make in india in india mein banaya gaya aircraft carrier usko hum log indigenous aircraft carrier kehte hain that's called as uh, so the indigenous word so INS Vikrant is a ship or is ship par it's a ship which carries the aircraft aapne dekha hoga एयरक्राफ्ट के लिए जो ऐसे फ्लैट होती है शिप उस पर से प्लेन जो है टेक ऑफ करती है सो दिस इज द फोटो ऑफ इट सो प्लेन जो उस पर लैंड किया गया है उस पर टेस्ट किया गया है लैंड करा करके सो दैट दैट इज व्हाई मिड 29 फाइटर तो ये प्लेन का नाम क्या है मिड 29 ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट बिकॉज़ इट वाज वेरी मच इन द न्यूज़ हां कमीशन ऑन 2nd सितंबर 2019 वेरी गुड विक्रम मेदी वेरी गुड हां अच्छा कोई बता सकता है व्हिच कंपनी हैज मेड इट व्हिच कंपनी has uh, manufactured has manufactured INS Vikrant i'm waiting for the answers manufactured INS Vikrant kya sahi jawab hai what is the right answer yes rashmi kaat very good ha uh, aap ye batao INS Vikrant ko kaun si company ne banaya tha recently last year september october mein very much in the news Then China lodges protest over U.S. shooting down civilian airship. So U.S. China, in terms of according to China, it is a civilian airship. Civilian means non-military. Whereas U.S.A. has said that it was a surveillance balloon. Surveillance balloon means uh, it was actually uh, doing uh, the spying and all. According to the U.S.A., according to China, it was a civilian airship. So in this, a little bit. Cochin Shipyard. Very good. Bikram Mehta is right. It has been made by Cochin Shipyard Limited. Cochin Cochin Shipyard. Very good. Yes, Amulya Raj, Rashmi Kant, Oja, very good. Ah, but now, Anachi, this is a very important highness, Vikrant. But, 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 I would suggest after the class is over, read a few passage, uh, I mean, on Wikipedia. Highness Vikrant, थोड़ा सा पढ़ना जाके, ठीक है? They can ask questions in exam. ठीक है, फिर एक और ये है India to send disaster relief teams to hit, quick uh, uh, hit Turkey. So I hope you are aware that the southern portion of Turkey and the northern portion of Syria. there have been earthquakes so india have also decided that uh, it will be sending a relief team so india bhi bhejenge theek hai so uh, let me show you here actually uh, this is the tweet of pm modi and he says actually uh, recep tayyip erdogan is the turkish president so he has uh, he might have written i do not understand this language but perhaps he was talking about this earthquake so and that is why pm modi retweeted it Engaged by the loss of lives and damage of property due to earthquake in Turkey, condolences to the bereaved family members. Bereaved family means those whose death happened. So the word used is bereaved. Condolences, condolences, uh, uh, condolences. This we will use in Hindi. Perhaps Shradhanjali will use it. It's a similar name. May the injured recover soon, etc. And all India stands in solidarity with the people of Turkey. Similarly, India has, uh, PM Modi has written for Syria as well because it affected both Turkey and Syria. I have just told you, and that is why. uh he has uh, written the tweets for the both theek okay? hai so just have an idea about it so this is all about today's class please subscribe to our channel uh follow us on instagram facebook telegram and download the byju's exam prep app today at 6 pm guys a app par aana uh, so if you download the byju's exam prep app go to class section today at 6 pm we'll be having a session of how to crack mscet exam gk section theek okay? hai so please follow me there aaj 6 baje shaam mein app par on our app byju's exam prep flat at 6 pm i'll be meeting you about how to deal with gk sections in mhct okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching have a nice day